Okay, testing, testing, one, two. Uh, welcome everybody, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you for joining us for the uh, the launch of the GMTV2 and uh, the session that we're gonna go through tonight is really all about giving you, I guess, some, uh, some insight into what we've been up to and also hopefully some really good uh, trading ideas, tips, strategies and things you can take away and use yourself in your own trading. So uh, before we get underway, my name's Shane Fry. I'm one of the directors of uh, Global Market Trader, um, the head trading coach, and I'll give you a little bit more information about myself shortly. But before we get underway, let's just do a quick sound check into the room. So I'll just, uh, just check to see if we have good sound quality. So we'll, uh, if you could just type in a yes, that would be fantastic. Excellent, fantastic, great. All right, well, um, as I mentioned before, Shane Fry from Global Market Trade, I'll be taking you through the bulk of today's presentation and we'll be, uh, we'll be starting here, well, pretty much straight away. Uh, we've got a fair few people joining us at the moment, so that's great. So, as I mentioned before, tonight is, is all about kind of giving you some information and insight into what we've been up to with uh, with our GNTV2, we've been, oh, well, I've been, and and the team have been busy working on, um, working on, kind of in the background on developing and and researching and testing and live trading and uh, putting together something that uh, we think is going to be fantastic. But uh, in the process of doing all that, we we've got some great information for you tonight, which. Uh, which we believe you'll find very useful and a good uh, a good takeaway from the session. So even if you if you feel like you want to join us again after tonight and uh, you want to go over some of the information now, before we start, just a couple of quick things. I, I want to make sure that tonight's a little bit interactive. So I mean, I've, I'm the only one with the mic, so it'll be me talking. But I'd like you to uh, you to just uh, give me a little bit of information about yourself. So if you can. If you can let me know if, for example, you're a new trader, you've been trading for a year, six months, 12 months, uh, you've been at it for you know four or five years, if you can just let me know what your level of experience is because tonight some of the topics we'll cover require a little bit of detail. Um, but if you're all fairly experienced, then you know it's gonna be fairly easy for me. But if, uh, if you're new, then I'll, I'll pitch it at a little bit of a different pace. So if I can get a little bit of background about what uh, what experience you've got, that way I can tailor the presentation a little bit. Uh, Don, is, is Don the only one who's having problem with the sound? Because it seems like everybody else is pretty good. I'll see if I can modify the volume a little bit. But uh, if anybody else is having any problem with the sound, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, you may, may be your end, Don we've got for you today. So as I mentioned, we've got some experience in the room. We've got uh, run through our disclaimer. So trading futures, currencies and options on futures transactions involves substantial risk of loss and may not be suitable for all investors. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data and recommendations are subject to change at any time as we all know. All funds committed should be risk capital. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. So what I'm going to say to that is that today is really all about what my beliefs are in the market. We all carry with ourselves, carry with ourselves beliefs about uh, our trading, and and we have opinions and and ideas about how the markets react and how we react to that. So um, what I would suggest that anything that you take from today's presentation. You should definitely test out yourself and just confirm whether you believe that's correct or not. So definitely should not be acting on any information without validating it, seeking advice, seeking advice, or just generally testing it. And that's that's what we're going to talk a little bit about tonight anyway. So as you came into the presentation, you would have seen our live account ticking away. Now that is on the DAX and it's trading five different strategies at the moment. 
so I think it's up around uh, let's have a quick look here up around almost 2,000 euro tonight so it's ticking along beautifully and uh, nice breakdown but we'll talk a little bit more about that later so and that is trading in automation so that's the next thing we're going to cover obviously through tonight's presentation now our presenters I'm going to quickly go through this because we want to get to the meat of the presentation. I don't want to spend too much time on this stuff. But important, you know a little bit about us. Uh, my name is Shane Fry, I'm one of the other directors, Luke Ferguson. We're the directors of the GMT group. We are professional traders who manage uh, the performance of real traders in a number of private equity and wholesale and a wholesale fund. So uh, our our job is to uh, to manage private equity. And also, we run a trading education company, uh, Global Market Trader. And we teach people how to trade through coaching, mentoring, and um, and one of the things that we're getting involved in, or we have been involved in for a uh, for almost 15 months now, is the development of our um, GMT V2. So that's what we're going to be talking a little bit about tonight and sharing with you. So where are we based? We're based in Brisbane. We've got uh, coaches and traders in the UK, USA, New Zealand. So we've got a bit of a global approach. We've got a, uh, we've got a couple of traders or coaches in the US. Uh, our primary trader, one of our traders and coders for our automated strategy is in New Zealand, so just across the pond. So uh, you probably won't be hearing from Mike tonight, but I'm thinking he's, he's going to want to pop in and chat to uh, to you if you're in the next webinar. So that's a little bit about us. We're pretty we're passionate about trading. We've been at it for about 15 years. Our background is in uh, in is is in options and hedging options with futures. So that's really where we've uh, developed a lot of our strategies. And we've moved into uh, futures trading about eight years ago, and we found that. Uh, as many of you would do. It can be a bit of a frustrating game, futures and forex. So uh, that, that's what kind of spurred me on about uh, 15 months ago to, to look at ways in which we can get better results on the futures market and the forex market as well and, uh, and how we can develop strategies or, or combined strategies to achieve that. Uh, and using obviously the experience I've got in hedging to, uh, to do that. So I'm going to take you through that uh, as we go through. So let's jump into some of the information we've got here. So trading into the future. Now there, there are some massive op opportunities coming our way as far as trading. It's very exciting. It's a, an exciting time to be in the market. It's exciting to, to realize the the advantage we've got now with uh, technology and the information that's available and it's really it can be a good and a bad thing I mean we, we get a lot of information there's the one of the things that uh, is, is a little bit frustrating is that there's so much information out there that uh, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming so uh, if you think about trading as a puzzle you just don't want too many of these odd pieces that you pick up from someone else's jigsaw you want to make sure that you've got all the right pieces and start putting to putting them together so they fit because the opportunities moving forward are outstanding and um, and really that 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 idea and belief and uh, and knowledge kind of was reinforced to me about 14 months ago 15 months ago when I saw the future of trading in uh, in just uh, just outside of Brisbane and I'll talk to you a little bit about that story shortly. But uh, trends and developments, let's go quickly go through that. Trading volume on the CME, two, 200 million per year in the 1990s. It's about 1% electronic. In 2007, that rose to 2 billion, so 73% electronic. Today, it's estimated to be about 3 billion, 90% electronic. And the FX market daily trading volume is 1.5 trillion. That is outstanding. So there are, there's no shortage of opportunity both in the futures and forex market now. And why is it just exploding? It's obviously because of the electronic opportunities that are available to us through uh, through trading. So it's very very exciting. 
Now, the fastest advances are coming from automation. And um, I, I'm just gonna tell you a quick story about automation. And, and I, w I was always a little bit skeptical, a little bit of a, not, not entirely convinced that automation was, was a good thing. And I always liked, I'm a bit of a traditionalist as far as tr trading and, uh, you know, I, I like, uh, or a purist, and I like to think that, you know, I'm making decisions in control. But really, the power of automation is incredible when you see it uh, working on a live trade desk and you see the, the advantage that it has and it has over trading uh, retail traders. And I saw that in, in Brisbane with a group that developed up a number of strategies to trade the FX market. And they were previously running a 18-hour uh, trade desk with, uh, with rotating traders, executing a number of strategies on uh, probably six major currency pairs, six to eight major currency pairs. And they were doing very well. They were turning over a good profit and uh, doing, doing very, very well with their, with their trading. But they were getting around about 80% profit on their, uh, on their trades execution. So they were missing... A good chunk of their trade, so they bought in a they bought in a coder to come in and automate all of their strategies. So they 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 spent probably about 12 months going through each of the strategies, simplifying them, making sure that they could be 100% automated. Uh, went through that process, and their uh, their profit and their uh, their execution was phenomenal. It went from around about, as I said, about 85 to about 98, 99%. And uh, they, they basically just did not miss any trades or they rarely missed a trade. It was it was a rarity that that would happen. And their, their profitability, because they were able to capture all trade opportunities um, and use, combine that with the use of uh, with uh, money management and uh, position sizing strategies outside of, uh, what they were previously doing was phenomenal. So, uh, because it's such a massive market, they were able to really get uh, a lot of juice out of that that uh, that process. So, I could see from that 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 was definitely a way that we wanted to to move to. So, we wanted to move to the area of automation and and integrate that into our trading. And I'll, I've spent probably the last fourteen months developing that side of our business up and getting us into that that area because I know that as we move forward and you'll see from the work that we've done and you'll see how much of an advantage it gives you uh, as we move forward you'll find that that a lot of companies move in that direction who have got systems that work if you don't have a system that works then you're not going to be moving at all in that direction because you know there's no you can't escape live trading results, and w when you automate the strategy, if it doesn't, if it doesn't work in you know back testing mode, it's not going to work moving forward, and uh, it doesn't matter you know what you do or how many indicators you put on it, it's just not going to work. So um, what you'll find as uh, as we uh, as we move forward and as 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 the technology gets better and better. Uh, uh, us or you as consumers will find that you'll demand to see you know good quality strategies that work in real time and and work in autom aut an automated environment as well because uh, that's really where where this is all going to so that'll that'll kind of cut out a lot of the a lot of those people who you know just don't have systems that work in real time so let's move forward okay the markets are so are now so dynamic. You know, how can we take advantage of this technology? So the reality is that um, there's a typo there. Sorry about that. That one strategy or one system does not provide us with enough of an edge to to be able to truly respond to the market's dynamics. So what we're saying here is that everybody's probably been through this experience where you know you miss one opportunity. You you know there might be a night where you can't trade or there might be a night where you're not feeling 100%, and uh, um, but you, you're actually supposed to be executing, and you're you know trying to make sure that you meet every session that you're in the market every day because you know that could be the day that you have a great breakout trade that you've got a 
you've got to make sure that you're there trading every session. So what um, we we don't really know what the its behaviour, its movement, its volatility, and really we're relying a lot of the time, particularly in the past, and, and we've done this as well, relying on one strategy or one system to to help us make our money. And and as you see as we go through the presentation, the markets are are dynamic. They you know they'll be trending one day, they'll be range bound, they they might be moving into some cyclical activity. Um, so really, you know, with one strategy, unless you've got something that uh, can be adapted quickly and uh, is able to take advantage of a, uh, a move, you know, a trending market, a counter-trending, um, take advantage of those types of markets or, or range-bound markets, then really you're going to struggle to make money consistently. And we see 